In the 1800s, family trees could be quite confusing. My papa was David Dixon, the wealthiest planter around. My mother was a 13-year-old house slave. Through the years, it's unclear to me what my papa's affections were towards my mother. If he thought fondly of her, or she was just chattel. Even though her duties kept her in the main house near me, we led very separate lives. You see, although by birth I was a slave because my mother was a slave, I was also David Dixon's only child and raised as such, learning all the things privileged proper white ladies needed to know. Oh, it was crystal clear that my papa loved me. He not only made sure I was taken care of while he was alive, but that I was taken care of even after he died. You see, before his death, he secretly drew up an ironclad will that guaranteed I would inherit the bulk of his very vast estate. By that time, the Civil War was over and slavery had been abolished, but still, you can only imagine my papa's wishes caused quite a stir and did not sit well with the white branch of my family. They contested the will even though my papa made it clear that action could void their right to any inheritance. The trial took place right down the road in Sparta at the courthouse. I have to give the all-white male court of Hancock County and later the Supreme Court of Georgia much respect. They stated that the rights of each race are controlled and governed by the same principles of the law. Much to the chagrin of my father's kin, and perhaps the tide of public opinion, the white judicial system upheld my papa's will and granted justice, making me the wealthiest black woman in America during that time. 